When, when patients come to us, um, most of the time they've already have had an MRI scan. They, they've been told that they have a brain tumor, so they understand that. A lot of patients come to us with a lot of fear. Um, you can imagine uh, the fear and, and the anxiety it would strike in one's heart uh, to be told they have a brain tumor. Um, what we try to do is to uh, educate our patients to be their partner in this course that they're going through with this diagnosis. Our ultimate goal is to try to get a cure. Um, if not a cure, to try to provide the best prognosis that one possibly can provide uh, for our patients and, and uh, uh, to be there for our patients and their families and their loved ones. But the one thing that I can say about patients that come to us with a diagnosis of brain tumors, um, it's not what you would typically imagine, it's not what you would typically think. Um, and they actually teach me the most about life and about living. Um, I've, before I had the, the pleasure and honor of really working with these patients, I would always imagine that if someone knew that they had brain cancer and was told they had a short time to live, they would take the American Express card and go to Hawaii and just you know, be off somewhere. But that's not what people do. Um, they actually uh, take the time to tell a spouse that they love them. They take the time to tell their children things that they want them to know and remember. They actually are able to live a lifetime in whatever time that they have. And that's the most precious gift um, that they give to us, being able to walk with them through that, that journey. And the gift that we try to give them is the ability to give them as much time as we possibly can with their families and their loved ones.